Hello, hello, and welcome back. Welcome back, YouTube, if I upload this later. Welcome back. Um, what have we done last time? We were making the steam engine. And then we started on this. And off screen, I did some more work. Um, apparently, the cobblestone generator is working. Um, so it's a little bit laggy because of the cobble gen. Actually, I can set it a little slower. Like that. Be it becomes a lot like friendlier, or well, a lot, a little. Basically, I have made a cobblestone generator, look. Which is quite fast, if it's at the maximum. Uh, which I don't have it at right now, for the words to lag. It automatically shuts off, so normally you don't really need it that much. Um, it shuts off when uh, it hits 50% um, of this uh, fault. Which is quite a lot. Uh, maybe I should expand the vault. But then it's going to be at the back of the building. So, Or maybe towards the front actually. Should we make the vault visible? That's, that's a good question. How would it look like? It, it, it would be like that. I think that would look cool. Wait, let me, let me qu quickly do that. Then I'll explain. I think it's this block. No, it's... Oh, shit, it's the higher blocks. Um, that's fine. Okay. Uh, those blocks, then. Alright, let me hop up. Up, up, you go. Let me... Oh, shit. I broke something. No. Let's make it a little bigger. The cobble gen will be running for longer now, but... It will have more in it, so I can use it for longer. Um, let's hop my out. Alright, alright, alright. So, welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Um, I have got plenty of to show you. Um, of course, we made our steam engine. I changed something on the steam engine. Uh, because the steam engine was working, but the bucket for the lava, it eventually despawned because it was just running uh, around all the time. So what I did is, on top of the belt, I added a funnel with a empty uh, one in it. So it will now just hold it here and wait for one of these to be available. Then empty out the bucket in one of these. And put the empty bucket in there and get some more lava. Our lava tank is full. And I think our lava station... Actually, you know what I should make? I should make a iron ladder. Uh, industrial iron ladder. Industrial iron ingot. I have plenty of those. Let me make an iron ladder. Wait, what? Okay, I can just do that through here. Okay, so I don't have to make the sheets and... Wait, what the fuck? Okay, so, okay, sure. Sure, 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 sure. Whatever, um... I was about to say, yeah, industrial iron leather. Oh, way too much. Let me quickly go to sleep. Do, 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 do. Let me put the music a little bit. There we go. Also, I'm thinking of getting a new um, uh, laptop or something eventually. Uh, may, I, I will probably go for a um, tower then and not actually a laptop anymore. So, yes, this is better. I cannot get in and out of here. Oh, that's nice. So, yeah, the lava tanks are still quite full. We don't really need them for now. So, we can expand our uh, tank one more up. 
or maybe two more even. What's the maximum size of a tank? Do I still have uh, fluid tanks? No, I don't. Okay, for now we'll leave it at that. Um, eventually I might expand it. So, what we've got going on here? Oh yeah, the cobble gen. Oh, actually, um, 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 yeah, I will explain it to you first and then show you. So, what's going on? We have a cobble gen over here. Cobble gen is generating a cobblestone. We have lots of mechanisms back here. But basically over here there's a fan with a funnel. So the uh, generated stone from over there gets sucked up into this giant fold up here. And what's happening here is basically um, there are wheels. So this is giving us um, actually gravel out of those wheels. So we are generating gravel on this side. And on this side we can generate sand and we um, can uh, also crush other items. Yes. So, what will happen next is um, we have the, the, this beautiful system over here which also includes a lot of gears and shit to make it work. Look at this, it's really... Close actually, uh, all all actually together, but it, it works and it's good, so perfect. There are a lot of rotation uh, things in there. Look, there are already I think well, it's one, that's two. Maybe there are like in total eight in there or something. Because these belts, I want them to be slow. You know, I want to show those items to you, and I want to show what's happening here. So basically, what I can say is, okay. Um, I want to generate more iron. Let's open that. The gravel goes out. And gravel gets washed, gets stored in this fault. Which I still have to make nice. Um, and the washing thing, so basically the flint will burn up over there, if it's too much. And the other ones get made into iron ingots. Also, before I had the system running so that, um, um, let me turn it off again, for now. Before I had the system running, so it would crush, um, actually in here some cobble and in there. Because one crusher can handle about uh, a stack. Or a stack each few seconds, basically. So I wanted it to be faster. Uh oh. Not again. No, 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 no. Just go, yeah. Go over there. Like you should. Yeah. Is there a village or something? Oh, no, of course no. They spawn around me. Yeah. So, 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 so. Uh, next up, what's happening is... Um, this was a little bit too slow for me, but in the end I decided, like, okay, you know what? I'm going to use one for sand and basically every other item that I'm going to need. And one actually for the cobble. Because what's going to happen otherwise is they're gonna back up with items etc and they won't work and they'll be slower so in the end i might actually have to add another set of crushers here or maybe one above there so you just put um, some cobble in there it destroys the flint and it uh, makes the sand go wait no it crushes the gravel into sand yeah yeah, that's what I was about to say. So basically what I have set up here, uh, this can go, and this can go here. Then, oh wait, I can actually show you by doing this. So um, that goes back into the system through all those loops of um, uh, belts, etc. And it's going to go out here. If I'm right. If it's not getting powered. Uh-oh. Um... I have to check. Let me check something. Maybe it's slow. Houston, we have a problem. Oh, mum, 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 mum. Or no? Oh, wait. Sorry. It gets moved up there and get moves. It gets moved back in here, so it gets sanded in there. Yeah, there it is. Sorry. It does go up there. My bad. Um. 
anyway, what I was saying is basically this generates gravel, this generates sand. So if we put on the sander, uh, no, actually we cannot put on the sander. We can only put on the uh, gold quartz generator. Let me put it on for a few seconds. Like normally I can leave this on for a longer while. Basically we get sand out of here. It gets uh, in front of uh, this fan. So basically we have multiple fans. We have one soul fire, one water, and one normal one just for looks basically. So this last item belt, uh, it just takes every item that's in here. That's not uh, soul sand, um, um, gravel or sand basically. So that's all that's happening in here. Of course I can add to this one also items I want to water up. Then I just have to filter them out of this side. So that works. Uh, basically we can get sand and automatically make it into quartz and gold. It goes through the same uh, system again. But the nice thing about this system is it knows how full it is. So let me travel to the back. The cobblestone generator has turned off. Let me get it back up to speed. At least a little faster, like that. Okay. So what's happening here? We have multiple sensors. This one checks for how much is in here. So this is for actually the cobblestone. So it sees, okay, is it half full of actually cobblestone or like lower than five, basically? Turn on the uh, generator for cobble. So it will... If it gets low, it will turn on the cobble gen, it gets more, basically. So it's always full. Same thing it does is it closes down the sender, which is... Let me get into this mess. Look at this mess, beautiful. It's really compact, everything. <laughs> I don't know how I did it. Um, this is the uh, sender, so what this does is it basically gets um, gravel from the lower system. So it gets gravel, moves it all the way through here and puts it in the same chute. So as soon as it's generating uh, actually the cobble, it's so much that it cannot handle, uh, the chute cannot handle both the uh, gravel that's coming out there for the sander. And uh, it cannot handle the... Uh, oh, wait, there's some brass in here. Oh, I left this. And it cannot handle, actually, the cobble together. So this is generating a lot of items. I don't want to lag out the server. So what I do is I take off the sender. Even though if it needs sand, I don't give a fuck for them. Um, as soon as it has, actually, enough cobble again, the sender can turn back on and it's all fine. So next up, what is happening? We check how much... Gravel is in the system over here. So that's uh, 40 or uh, it goes below actually 10. What it is, if it doesn't have enough gravel, is it turns on this system over here. So it generates more, etc. Um, no, actually I'm lying. That's not true. This one takes gravel from the uh, uh, lower side, so it goes down here. Actually, I should have way less gravel set up in here. This is totally unnecessary. Um, 25. Yeah, like that. That's better. What it will then do, if if it has a less than um, less than the amount here, it will basically say, okay, I need more, so it gets it from the lower system and gets it back up. So this is the main storage in here, and this is just the storage for the curvishing wheels itself. Yes, I got it again. Next up. We have two detectors for the lower system. That is, we can detect uh, how much gravel, I think. Yeah, this is gravel, this is sand. So we check how much gravel is in the uh, in here in the tank. Um, 
above 10% or below 30%. And we check for sand too. Sand this. Let's move this to 32. 30 and 10. So sand is actually getting quite low. Wait, sand is actually quite low. Convert the signal. Will it now? Yeah, okay, sorry. This was set up the wrong way. That's not very smart. And this one is set up the right way, I think. Yes. Yes, okay. Let's go sleep again before we get some mobs and before we get murdered. Um, so what that system basically does is... All it simply enough does is uh, say basically if this uh, tank contains uh, less than 10% uh, of sand or less than a 10 of uh, gravel, then um, make some more. Wait, what the fuck? Why is this? Oh, I see. Oh... Um, yeah, I only want to allow... Soul sand for now? I think we should allow everything we can get washed. Yeah, okay, so we're quickly gonna... Allow list. Yeah, don't, don't... Uh oh, it's taking our sand. Okay, well, it's taking sand in there, so... Oh, that's actually not good. I don't want sand in there. Um, let me put some sand in this filter for now. There's one down there, see? Let me dig down here. This will take it all back into the system. I don't know how much sand is in here, but like before uh, I've also had some fuck ups, so... There appears to be quite a lot. No, actually it's already over, so... Good, 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 good. Okay, so what's happening is this is basically the loose item row. So flint and clay and whatever it gets uh, out of this system. So basically when you make gravel into sand, you get some flint and you get some balls. So that's what's going out here. The system is now asking for more sand because it has less than... 10% in here, and then it moves up all the way to 30. So it's now making more sand. It's storing the sand in here. Um, it has enough gravel in here. But basically if it needs more sand or gravel, it will turn on this system or that system. And what I should be doing is max this one out. At, not at 8, but at 6. No, not at 7, at 6. There we go. That's that's the max amount with this speed of the belt it can handle. Uh, or, well, just about, basically. So we don't get an overload of items. Okay, so it's making some more. Um, so, basically, if this system runs out uh, of gravel, it will ask more gravel from the tank below. If that runs low, it will ask more gravel from the system, which uses in here actually the cobblestone. If the cobblestone gets low, it basically asks for more cobblestone from there. That's all it does. So I can just flip a switch, ask for iron, and I get iron. Ask for gold, and I get gold. And it does its thing. Only thing I now want to do is basically get a screen or a monitor like that one over there in this wall so I can actually hit that and say okay I want some more gold I want to uh, shift on the gold factory or I want to shift on the iron factory or basically make a list of items I can automatically generate also, another thing I want to do is set up the same lane as this one, so it makes gold ingots for gold nuggets. Now it gets over there, so... Doesn't seem like the best idea. And it makes quartz. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. 
that's fine though. We don't need quartz right now. But we can always store it in there. So. Um, also, I just want to filter out everything we get from that machine. So... I'm gonna need some gold for the... Uh, screens, for the monitors, because I want smart monitors. Let's put every item where it belongs. No, not in there. You belong in the create box. Together with... Well, that's not in there. And you, brass, should be going there. Okay. So that's another thing. Done. Now we need a basin and a crusher. I'm using that one over there for some of my uh, some of the things that I, I need like really fast. So let's make another crusher. Uh, no, um, a uh, press, 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 press. Well, that's really cheap. That's an easy job done. Let's get my belts. Um, get a block of iron. We want two andesite funnels. Two andesite funnels, and then we want. So wait, I'm thinking, by the way, should I, um, what should I do? Should I hold the middle lane free off for some other item? Or should I make that into the gold factory? No, I should make that into the gold factory. The middle one. The middle one gets gold for now. Mm, uh, how do you do it? Like that. Yes. Then we should also get a basin. Do we have another basin? Yes, we do. One basin. And then we should make some brick. Let's actually use this one. I just made it, uh, made like uh, the special items. Um, yeah, like that. Um, I made these uh, special ones because I, always use, I also use them for the redstone uh, signals. So nobody else will get on the same signal. At least if they really want to, of course they still can, but that's not really uh, the idea here. Okay, we get out, we get out. We get a belt from there. Into... Oh, shit. Let me use another one of these with the connected textures on, so it's even harder to get, boy. Put a barrel there. And that one there. So our gold, ing our gold ingots will go in there and our iron ingots will go in there. So I will now demonstrate for a little bit. Um, it's still generating... Oh, it's, see? Uh, the sander has stopped. It has enough sand. But now the gravel has run a little bit low. So it's asking for more gravel. It's still generating sand, so... Let's generate some gold. Uh, just enough for a few ingots, maybe. So it's outputting half a stack each time. Maybe I should set it to less. So it's not as demanding. Gold quartz gen. Okay, let's stop that. So the soul sand, so it gets washed in here, it gets soul fired, it gets made into soul sand. Soul sand ge goes in there, all the way down and then through and all the way back into like here basically. Soul sand gets filtered. Ooh, what do you have? Oh, I want that globe. Do I have enough for the globe? I do. I do. Give me that. That's epic. Sorry, I wasn't watching. Um, soul sand gets washed. A gold. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, shit. Gold ingot. There we go. This system now also works. Let's see. Oh. Wait, it says where it is. No way. What? That's epic. Oh, that's nice. I like the globe. The globe looks cool. The globe is accepted. Oh, llama. Oh, don't go in here. Don't go in here, you poor guy. So, let's generate some more sand. Let's generate... That's generating the fastest it can. So it should be equal to the sender, so... As soon as this runs dry, it will ask equal amounts of that and that. So they will balance each other out, basically. Which is good. Until the cobblestone runs out and then it will ask for more uh, cobblestone. Which is faster than the other system, so it will generate a lot. So it can continuously run, basically. I don't need it to continuously run, but I will actually I will for now for the gold. So gold for monitor. So what I might want to do is get away. Alright, so I'm thinking, should I get outputs on those? Through some computers. What is this saying? This is saying how much if it's generating um, if it's generating gravel and this one is saying if it's generating sand. I like to get that on my monitor, that stat, and to get the cobble gem on my monitor. So, yes, I will have to do this a little bit differently. Unless there is space right... Yeah, I can put the computers here. No, because I need modems. Shit. And then uh, th this system is open, so... Let's not do that. No, let's not. I want that to be closed. And the reason why is otherwise the uh, generation of the stone, of the cobblestone, will get out of here. I can't remove these bricks either. So, I will have to... Put the computer somewhere else. Yeah, just a bank of computers, maybe. Or just one smart computer which knows, like... Uh, a computer needs a modem on it and a cable. So, modem cable, and then we have um, one, two, three, four, five sides left on that computer, which we can measure from. One will be the screen, so I won't use that. We have four sides left, four inputs. So, we have one input, one, two, so that's three inputs. Um. Yeah, so that's the cobble gen, that gen, and that one. And then we have the iron factory if it's on or off, but we can just toggle that by right clicking it. And it will actually say the same. Uh, so, yes. Okay, so it's making sand, it's making gravel. Did I turn off the s no. Oh wait, it's it's full enough of sand of course still. See? Actually this fills up the uh, container a lot too, so let's turn it off for now. With quartz mainly. We can take out the quartz. Wait, let me take out the quartz. Let's just have a quartz. And I think we have a... Uh, brass? Yeah, brass from the left. 
Let's see how much is in there. I think there's quite a lot, to be honest. Look at that. This is more than I'm ever gonna need. I think that's actually the last little bit with. No, it's not. It's just throwing it on the floor. Okay, we go out and about, and we go back. Put this in this container here. So if we ever need quartz, we know where to get it. Yeah, I see. So I want to empty out this container. That's the only reason why I'm doing this. We need to do something with this quartz. Store it in a vault and then throw it out or something. Because this is just insane. Okay, so we need to store that in a vault soon. Okay, we want monitors. We want monitors. I think I have the monitors. We just need one smart PC or maybe two. Um, so, let me show you. If you use startup as the thing, I can turn on the off computer. It's supposed to say hi. So, it says hi. So, it automatically runs when it, the game starts up or the PC starts up. So that's the thing. Um, I will have to run some commands in single player world. I will show you something. I know what I'm doing. I still know what I'm doing. It asks me every time, dude. Like, you don't have to ask me every time. So basically what I can do here, what I've set up is the stop current program. Uh, list. I think this one has the. Uh, no, that one. Has the, yeah. So. What I'm transmit to to. Edit. Oh, so it shares. Ooh. Ugh. Ugh, I don't want it sharing. I don't want it sharing um, the programs. Can we not share programs between each other, please? Yeah, because this one is supposed to send the signal, so... And this one is supposed to be the um, uh, list, it's called modem. So it can read from all of these things. It can read what's in here in the chest, what's in there in the chest. But it cannot read from vaults. So originally I wanted to let it show like how much was in a vault. I can't do that, sadly enough. But what I can do is check on this one, for example, it will send a signal to this one, if it's on or off. So what we can do in here, edit uh, modem, we can actually let it listen. Um, and if the reply channel so we can basically add an if statement. If. If channel is equal to two, then end. And then we should print the channel and print the message. So we have a two is true. So what we can now do on the other PC is basically receive that. Um, oh yeah, wait, what we can do, sorry.
Uh, stop program, edit modem. Well, true do, event. Ah, yeah, yeah, that's just actually fine. Yeah, we don't need the uh, peripherals key. We don't need the chest strap. We just need to open the channels. If channel is 2, we can print cobble gen. Um, wait, let me uh, modem. Nil, true, nil, false. Edit. Oh, I, I know what. Uh, I know why. Because we cannot print cobble gen, we can print. The string value cobble gen. Oh, print. String value cobble gen. Modem. Actually, let me set it up. A modem. Um, let's open channel. Channel 1 is also open, so. If channel is 1. Else if. Else if. Channel equals one, then print um, gravel gen. Let me do it differently, because we say if um, message equals true, then print, uh, let me, print um, on, else, Print off and otherwise do the same. Print gravel gen uh, if message equals true, then print actually, we can run a function for this. Function message. Uh, print message. Message. Oh, I forgot how these worked. We can print message, a message. Um, local function message. Uh, does it work like that? I don't think it does. Let me actually... Uh, Check that in the uh, in the uh, server again. I totally forgot how to make functions again. Like I'm I'm kind of new to this, so I'm just looking up all the uh, all, all the things that I need. I basically just look up. So don't 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 judge me. So what I can here see here is edit signal box. We have some functions in here. Local function switch flat, and we call it by saying switch flat. Oh yeah, we don't have to specify function in front of that. Yeah, that's how it works. Okay, I remember. Oh, sorry, this one. So we just say local function, function name, 
uh, data in there. Yeah, okay, let's quit you and then edit modem. Local function message if message equals uh, true, then print on else print off and oh wait that's with the first if statement and then we need another end oh save oh it does something ah, okay uh, edit modem. I thought it would need that, but didn't know if that was true for the if statement here. So let's see. Print message message a nil value to call global print message. Oh, we need a global one. Edit uh, modem. Global. Did you mean to assign this or call it as a function? Wait, sorry, what? Uh, it is local, that's fine. How do we specify um, How do we specify data in there? That's the question. Let me let me Google that for you. Um, computer craft functions. Function type. Function function name, function string. Standard inbuilt function such as write a print, it would be. So it will write something. Oh, yeah, okay. So string, string. If type string, string, then print. To get a new name for a function is as follows. My function is right. What? I want to input the message in there. Can I please? Sorry guys, I'm looking into something. I think so. Yes, it should work. So as I, if I, hmm. Oh, wait, I need to store the message from here, see? It doesn't remember the message as local.
So every time I uh, have to write local message, message. Okay, let's see. Whoa! Motherfucker. Lua 19, attempt to call global print message, uh, nil value, edit message, no, shit, uh, control exit, edit, modem. Local mess equals message. Mess. Nice. Uh, modem. No, it doesn't understand. <laughs> Maybe it's with the. Oh, fuck. Let's see, somebody else has to be. This is a for loop, right? Yeah, it is. No, it is not. So it will, well true, it will check for that. Am I stupid enough to not understand this? Yes, I am. I can write out that whole thing, but no, there should be a better way. <laughs> Calling a function within a function defined by an argument. Yes. Draw button, term dot clear. What? Alright, I'm reading something new. So... Local function to print. I think it's with print being What? Print, mark one.
It cannot read into the message, I think. What did it say? Modem. Get me something to print. Uh, typical global print message. Edit modem. Print mess, mess, print mess, print mess, mess. If, oh, sorry. Wow, that's smart. Local function message message. If message is true, then uh, no. You know what happened? I will have to call it a message here. Uh, no, it will just be in here. It will just be yes. Okay. Fact. Message. Mess. Search uh, and here we call it mess. If mess is true, bottom motherfucker. The function it oh sorry. Uh edit modem. For some reason it doesn't Do I just say function? Is that it? Global premise a nil value. Why is it a nil value? What the fuck? Why is it a nil value? Edit modem. Wait. Function is called message. You stupid fuck. It's no longer called. It's print mess. Oh my god, I know why. Print mess. Modem. Cobble gen off. Cobble gen on. Uh, wow, that was really stupid. Um, if channels one, yes, okay, so model. we can add one more PC to this side. Let's do it there. Computer free. Edit, um, wait, wait, list. Why does it share the programs? Edit local sent message. List. Oh, so maybe I do have to... <coughs> oh no, it just remembers them. That's why. Oh, of course. Is that why? Wait, really? Is that why? 
I always remembers the computer ID. Holy shit. Are you kidding me? A uh, list. Yep. Edit. Um, uh, startup. Oh, sorry. Edit startup. Uh, this shouldn't be too much to remember. Let me think. Okay. I think I got it. Uh, control exit. Uh, startup. Edit startup. Uh, it, uh, first, we assign the site where the modem is. We say in this case, uh, we open modem channel one. While True, do, OS, pull event, uh, redstone. We sleep for a little bit. And when we say modem, modem, transmit on channel one, main channel one, redstone, put, on the left. With another end. Startup. See, this doesn't work. That sounds too bad. Alright, so we will now say Gravel Gen. startup sorry what mate uh. oh sorry it was on the wrong, wrong side huh there we go so it's on off on off and this one is on or off I think what we can do is say one other thing. Stop program, edit startup. Ooh. We do have to make some if statements, I think. Yeah, the site. Pull event, redstone, get input. No, we can just modem dot transmit two comma two redstone dot get input from bottom. Now we can use one PC for two inputs, that being that one. Uh, no. Oh yeah, that's giving all the same. It's uh, saying gravel gen is on, couple gen is off. And now they're both on and on. So it always updates them. Mm. Do we want that at its startup or do we want if statements? So if redstone.get input left equ equals true, if input, yeah, then we would have to write it like this. I don't think we need to sleep actually. So if um, redstone.get input left, actually let's, Write a function for that. Function RSE with the data being site. 
Redstone dot get input site end. So if RSC equals left. No, wait. Oh, wait. Wow. Uh, no. We don't need a function. We need a local RSE. Site equals redstone.getInput site. No, we don't do it like this. We want to do it like that. If RSC left is equals to true, then we can just send the message cobble gen from here and gravel gen. Uh, gravel gen. Okay, so it's a bit smarter like this. Uh, else if RSC right. Oh. Alright. Equals true, then. And. Like so. Oh, we missing a uh, little closing mark. So startup. Oh, fuck. Edit startup. Okay, may I think we do have to say uh, site. Oh. What? No, I think we cannot do it like this. What, 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 what? Let me think. No, that's just variables, but this is not a variable. This is a, a function, yeah. Local function, uh, RSC with site. No, it doesn't work like that, I think. If oh, I think it does work like that, wait. Uh, no. Uh, what? Startup. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Block started here. Oh. Edit startup. We need to end it. Startup. Nope. We need to still stop it. Am I too stupid to write functions now? Oh wait, of course. <laughs> There's the redstone dot get input. Site. Uh, startup. No. No, 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 no. Yes, I am missing. Uh, let's start up. It's me just messing around at this point. Let me open the chat, by the way. I'm not reading the chat, sorry. Oh, 
Oh, it's Kenny Oaks. Hi, man. Sorry, I didn't even see you here. How are you? You have you have missed the uh, sh start, man. You've missed the start. What? Oh, I didn't save it. <laughs> yeah, nice. Good job. Startup. Mate. Brackets were opened here. You don't like the point, do you? Wow. Wait. I'm, I'm just... What am I... No, I shouldn't. That's just the argument list. Why am I doing this? I, my, my head is fucking with me right now. And it's startup. Local function RSE. And we want in there the site. Oh yeah, we just need to do this. Holy shit. Redstone.get input uh, site. Okay. Uh, Joey, do eens even helpen. Doe eens even helpen hier. Ik heb je even nodig. Wat de fuck doe ik hier dom? Bij een redstone event. At redstone event. Uh, check if the function RSI with the site input. So it basically says... Nee. Gast jongen, ik ben hier. Ik, ik, ben hier, ik ben hier nu net weer mee bezig, jongen. Oh ja, ja, ja. ja die, nee, dat doe ik normaal ook wel hoor. Wacht even. Sorry, ik zal het even voor jou mooi doen. Oh, shit. Zo goed voor je. Dat vind je beter, denk ik. Zo. Nou heb je. Een, 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 een functie die ik heb gemaakt. Heresy is basically uh, uh, redstone input site. RSI, redstone, RS, input. So I make a function. Ja, dat kan ook. Maar de code werkt, want anders, anders had ik een error gehad. Kijk maar, let op. De code werkt. Alleen hij doet niet wat ik wil. Hij stuurt namelijk niet een message naar deze toe. Bij een redstone update. Oh, wacht. Sorry. Fuck. Uh, nee. Zie je? Hij stuurt geen message. He's not sending message. You motherfucker. Edit startup. Modems are on, right? Yes, they are. Um, modem transmit 1-1 couple gen. Add logging in this computer. Yeah. That would be great. Uh, well, I can wait. Wait, actually. Uh, print. Uh, cobble gen. Wait, what am I doing here? Well, true do. Oh, I have to specify if it's false too. <laughs> yeah, this is just not smart to do it this way. I could better just... No... Else if RSI... 
left equals false, then modem dot transmit over channel. Why am I? No, I just. I'm doing so stupid. No, 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 no. We're just gonna do it. Uh... We're adding more unnecessary code now. So at the redstone event, we're just gonna say modem dot transmit on channel one comma one. We do RSI left print modem dot transmit. 2, 2, RSI, right, uh, bottom, sorry, well, no, we cannot do right, return re redstone get input site, what, how do you mean, no, 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 I don't think so, At least it should work on the left side now. I've got brackets. Oh yeah, sorry. That's not really smart. So what? Uh, so what are you saying? Uh, so basically, ret here return. I'll return. Okay, sure. And, and, um, oh yeah, we forgot brackets. We forgot bracket. Startup. Oh no. Your program contains more ends. Oh, oh shit. I know. <laughs> I, uh, I have an extra end. There it is. Startup. There we go. Yeah, so now it lists both. I want to list one. Well, maybe now that we have the return value, I can do it. So while true, do pull event. If um, RSC left equals true, then. Shift that forwards. Else if RSC right equals true, then oh no! Wait, then I have to do it for off too. Yes, I have to do it for off too. So I will do a uh, left equals off or a false sorry false it's a boolean else if rsi right true then modem dot oh shit Wait, no, no, oh, I'm doing something stupid. I think there is a function that checks on which side you get the input from. Wait, let me, uh, um, computer craft. Let me look up the variables. Redstone get sides, returns the possible sides. String side returns the current redstone input signal state on So basically this makes a string. No, wait, I, no, that's a string I specify. What am I doing?
Yeah, I, ca I cannot detect where it's on or where it's off. No, no, I can't. I was thinking, let me be smart. But no, I'm not smart. What are we doing here, right? Uh, you don't have to add that plugin because it automatically knows what it's doing. Wait, let me let me open uh, Fish Studio for you. So, uh, um, paste bin uh, get startup. Paste in put startup. Paste in put startup dot lua. There we go. No, I cannot edit the files directly now. Well, I could probably do that, but not on the server. So that's why I sometimes do it in game, just so I can run it faster. But I think I already got this figured out. So let me just finish this. Um, else if RSI actually there is a smart com computer I think uh, which displays it a little bit better already modem will transmit uh, 2 comma 2 so over the channel 2 we transmit right startup we have to Shut you down, start you back up. Now it's listening again. No, it's not listening. Um, modem. Now it's listening. Gravel Gen is off. Wait, what? Um. <laughs> oh, oh, it's oh wait. Wait, no, I cannot just do. Eh, <laughs> eh, this is really dirty. Because every time it gets a redstone event. It will transmit all the messages. Because it still sees, look, it still sees the left as off. Yeah, I don't have to do the uh, pull event redstone then. Anyway, well, it works. I just get all values. So it's, it's, it's dirty. It, it takes more energy, but that's fine. Let's just get back to the <laughs> Let's just, just do things on there. <laughs> Instead of this stupid ad adventure in coding that will never work. So look at our beautiful factory. Yes. We are on the server again. Wait, what did I leave on? Why is my cobble gen running? Did I leave the sender on? It's asking for more sand. Why are you asking for more sand? Is that a bug? No, it's asking for more sand. That's right. Um, and it's asking for more, more cobble, so... Will this be a vicious circle? That's the question. No, the cobble gen is faster than the sand gen, so that's good. Who is we? Um, me and... Or basically some guys from the... Uh, place... Uh, Henel. Uh, basically set this up. And... He also joined actually Kenny Ox, so... 
as in we, me and Kenny Ox, are on this server. But it's not our server, we just are on it. So, that's what's happening. So, uh, Kenny Ox, you haven't seen this either, but I made this beautiful, co super complex, super tight machine. With a, a cobble gem that's really fast. How many online currently? Uh, only me, so it's not really a, a busy server. Uh, Nout also joined on it. Um, but like in the evening, um, there are some other guys too. And also, it's, it's not really vacation right now, because uh, Yella lives here. He isn't really online. Uh, this is the base of the owner, I think, actually. Uh, and here lives Kenny Ox. And Nout also joined for a bit, but I don't know where he lives. No clue. I, I don't know if he has a base or if he just came by looking on the server. That's all. I have no clue. So let me let me check this out quickly. Um, we are generating cobble. Oh yeah. Yes, it is fun. It, it, it is very fun, man. You can do, like, uh, with the create mod, you can actually um, also have some uh, peripherals that l link to uh, the mod itself. So I think you can write train schedules through the, um, through the scripts itself. You can, um, wait, let me, let me check that again. There were some different peripherals. Uh, let me see. So we have computer craft, create integration. Computer graph in integration. Uh, you can check stressometer, speedometers. You can change sequence gear shifts, their full settings. So how much they have to rotate, etc. So I think you can build a clock. Or like a item account or whatever based on that uh, you can change rotation speed controllers so basically what you can do and you can uh, use display links and train stations and schedules so what a possibility is is for example you can read out a stressometer with it so I think I have a stressometer there yeah I think I do and then for example if it reaches almost the max you can put your speedometer slower or higher. Joey was on the first series, yeah, definitely. Uh, my first uh, series that we did, basically on the old server. So basically the old server, that's all. Okay, so it's generating more gravel. Has it not generated enough sand yet? That's insane. It has generated enough sand, no? No, it's almost generated enough sand. I think it's now. Yeah, that was on Craventure staging. Like, if that server would go on, that would be epic for me. But like, uh, we started a new adventure now. With... Sadly enough, not the uh, framed uh, mod, so steam engines can look a little bit less nice. But this is now standard create mod, these shapes, so I can put a barrel inside of there even. See? So this is now standard in uh, the create mod itself. You just don't have like the ramps and... and the upside down uh, half slabs, etc. And the wall uh, things. But you have these, and this is decent enough, I'd say. Let's see. Okay, it stopped generating sand, which is good. And it's generating gravel only. The cobble gen has stopped working because it's full enough. It's above 50%. It's dropping a little bit. How much gravel does it have? Um, it has more than... 
Oh no, no wait, on the base one I need. This one. Yeah, it's generating some gravel. Okay, so what I want to do with the computer screen is basically make uh, toggleable um, monitor functions. So this will be a monitor which I can write mouse button uh, to change that. Let me chisel up some bricks. There we go. Close this off. Should I put a ledge? I should probably put a ledge. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Put the connected textures back on. Oh, this is really ugly. Let me fix that. I need a smeltery somewhere too, by the way. So I'm gonna need to fix that too. So I want a small screen, maybe a small monitor. A small tall monitor there. And then it displaying some facts about the machinery. Displaying the toggles for the iron and gold factory. And the next ones we get, of course. Want an OLED screen with MC to play MC? Joey can make it for you. Uh, Joey, I can ask by the way if you can also join on the server if you want, if you have, uh, if you even have the time. Like I think everything is in here with backups and shit and uh, corp. Uh, so basically, if if someone just uh, fucks around or it goes around and uh, fucks around, it's easily fixed. So. I'm not scared of inviting you guys anymore, you know? Like, if that wasn't in there, yes, I wouldn't invite you guys, no. Okay, here we go. Uh, yeah, I want a monitor. I'm gonna set up the monitor. Let me do that. I want... Let's get those signals. Um, two of those. This will be just here for uh, for now, for the temp, which will be a brick and that connected with a sand and the gravel. One sand and one gravel. One sand, one gravel. Store all our crap we don't need right now. Do 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 do. One gravel, one. Main channel one is stone with sand. Actually, we can check if these are on. Yes, these are on. Why is this one still on? Okay, that's kind of buggy. I think it's... Yeah, it, it started exporting some... It's fine. Take the redstone links off. Yes, you're making some iron, I know.
What mods? Um, let me check the list. MC version is 1.21, I think. Let me... Uh, it's basically the newest version of Create Mod. So all the new mods available. So that's why some mods weren't there. Uh, we're gonna get a storage mod, by the way. So that's something to look forward to. We have... We have... We have... Let me mod... We have uh, Terralif, so that's basically the uh, terrain generation. Uh, supplementaries, I think that's a farming mod or something. Yeah, the, the storage mod that we had is a little bit overpowered. So they're probably not going to add that. Like, it's also fun to add all of those belts, you know. Um, steam and Rails is in there. Uh, slice and Dice. Uh, chiseled. Moonlight, uh, then we have the fabric shit. Uh, Farmer's Delight. We have the uh, cupboard mod. Wait, did I add that myself? Um, the create fabric mod. Uh, oh, oh, wait, that's just a normal create. Create deco, create chunk loading, chunky uh, computer craft and architecture. Um, Joey means the applied energistics. Um, wait, what did I just say? I didn't say drawer. I said uh, the cabinet what? No. Um, the uh, cupboard mod. Cupboard. Okay. Maybe it's not in there. Okay, that's worth. Anyways, I want a monitor in here. Do I want a... Do I want it like this? That's too small, isn't it? Maybe just... Should I have it like that? should have it like that. Let's make some advanced computers. So these work with some glass paints, redstone and some gold. We have a gold farm, so... Uh, oh yeah, I looted that one already. It's not that fast, to be honest. Hi Kenny, you're in game. Good, have fun. Noise, 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 noise. You're in game, mate. Alright, so we have some gold. We need... Actually, we only need one advanced computer, to be honest. We need some glass. But I put some of these in here. So I can get some sand easily. Smelt it up. I should still build a smelter. Oh, and all this soul sand can, uh, of course, go where it should go. Um, yeah, it's this line. But Joey, with with the uh, Applied Energistics mod, uh, yes, you can do way more efficient shit. But without, you have to make um, things like uh, what I did over here. Look at this. <laughs> this, uh, this belt moves items. This belt moves items. This is all linkages and... Uh, <laughs> Uh, speed con uh, control and shit. Um, lots of filters. Um, lava pipes. So, it, yes, it makes it more fun, to be honest. Because it's harder to make. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, I uh, think with the... Tororus mod, you can basically do the same. You can, uh, uh, like, store a lot of items. In those things. Ooh. Okay. Oh, yeah. 
advanced computer. Hey, Fogold, how are you doing? I'm gonna dig up this wall for now. I'm gonna have some stone. Down there. And have a computer here. Edit startup. Uh, mon equals uh, peripheral.rep. Um, right. Mom dot right. Mom dot set text scale. What is it? I forgot again. Let me check. Um, computer craft monitor peripherals. Monitor. Term API page. There we go. So it's um, mon dot set uh, set text skill. Mondot set text uh, text scale to one. Mondot write hello. Let's see. Is that big enough? Let it start up. Mom dot uh, uh, generator. That's what I want to fit on there eventually. Yeah, that's way too big. Edit startup. Can I do uh, like one point two? I think I can. Oh! Cobblestone, gravel generator. Yeah, okay, that's good. Right there. Do I want it to be lower? So it's just this screen. Cursor position to two comma one. Factory control panel. Explain this to me, why does this not work? Uh, right, mon.clear Oh, I see why This also writes to line 2 
Oh, because I changed the tech skill later, you cannot have multiple tech skills on a pedal, maybe? What? Why won't you write that, my friend? <laughs> am I am I missing something here, guys? It's not me being stupid, right? Um, we wrap the monitor. We say monitor clear. We say set tech skill. Let's get this second monitor right. Uh, startup. It just doesn't want to write factory. What the fuck? Clay through through soul fire. What clay? You mean clay balls? I don't have clay balls through the soul fire, uh, but you get some from crushing the sand. Actually, um, no, because I do make from sand, soul sand, and soul sand I wash. No, I get gold and quartz. You get clay balls through a soul fire, how do you mean? If you do what? If you throw what in, in it? If you throw sand in there, no. If you crush sand, or uh, wait, let me check out. If you make sand, that's true. So if you, oh, that's suspicious sand shit. If you crush gravel into sand, you get clay balls. That's true. Yeah, you now know where it comes from. Good. <laughs> I already thought you meant that. One dot right factory control panel. Why the fuck can I not write that? Is it too long? Is the string too long? Startup? W what? What? Are you drunk? Oh, wait. What the fuck, dude? Oh! Uh, oh, what? No? Edit startup. Oh, I, f oh, I think it just left it there, yeah. Wait, I didn't... Yeah, that's why. It cleared it out afterwards. I'm oh, sorry, edit startup. Uh, Mumbled right. see a four eye loop uh, how did it work again oh yeah I get it so for um, I think it works the same
Oh no, it doesn't work like that. Uh, Ah, uh, no, that's... Oh wait, start and interval. Oh yeah, I see now how it works. Four. Shit. I equals one comma five. Oh yes, that's the line numbers. And it started up. Okay, it starts lower. So that does work, so we can start from line 5 and go up to line 10. Run startup command. Okay. Now I need to go to my history. What I'm gonna do right now is also get into the solar world. Check what I did there. Export it all to paste bin. Sorry guys, I need to do something real quick. Uh, the screen will uh, be a little bit smaller, so I can type it. Wait. Oh, I see. 
There we go. No, we're, we're gonna do it a little bit differently, I think, yeah. None of my farms are on, so where are my resources going? Are they just magically disappearing or something? Or is it that it... Oh, I think if you load it back in, it just updates. I think that's the issue. Okay, I get it. Edit startup. Modem is peripheral dot rep left. Actually, we can use a four eye loop. Open eye. So it's opening all the channels, five channels. Um, and end it off. And then we're gonna do function print message message is gonna be if message actually move it once forward if message is equals true then print uh, actually we're not gonna only store the message we're also gonna take the channel with us so channel comma message um, mom dot set cursor position to twenty comma Does that work like that? I don't know. We'll see, we'll see, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Um, come on. Actually, let's use local update channel is channel plus three. The channel <sighs> to come up the channel. No, we just want the on or off. We're gonna print the basic 
Uh, thing in the first row. So, let's see. This is right, I think. So, we receive in the print message, we receive channel and message. If the message is true, then... Oh, yeah, we want also, of course, else if. Or, no, we just want else. Then. Else. We go, say... Local update channel equals channel plus three bond dot set cursor position to twenty comma update channel. Oh yeah, and we want to print the message of course. Print on. Actually, we're gonna do a spacebar with it, so we delete the F of off. Print off. Um, mon dot set color. I think we can uh, color. Um, colors computer graph wiki. Actually, it's mon.set text color. And then we're going to do a numeric value, which will be for red 16384. And we're going to do mon.set text color to green if it's on. Um, 8192. There we go. Oh. Oh, that's not mon, it's uh, modem. Modem. Startup. What? Modem dot open channel. That is right. Local modem. Local mom. Startup. Index. Attempt to index local modem a nil value. Uh oh wait. equal one to index local modem oh there's no modem found ha <laughs> I know why let me get some modems let me get modem what do you need for that some stone and some redstone we can do that we can do that we can do that Stone or redstone? And we can do some cable. That's working cable. Actually, let's make another modem already. We have two modems. Computer zero, start up. And it's start up. Okay, so no errors yet. Okay. So, let's see if we can receive any data. 
Let's make a whale loop. Did I see? No, I didn't yet. Wait one second. I want to finish this little bit and then I'll go. Well, true, do local. Site channel, reply channel, message distance, OS pool event, a modem message. So if we get a message, and now we have to be smart. So So I think we just print mass channel and message. Yeah, because the channel is just how far down we're going to be. And the message will be, yep. So are we really going to, oh, that's pretty smart. Print mass channel message. Print mass. Channel message. And no errors yet. Seems good. Let's get a basic computer. Computa, computa, uh, stone, redstone, let's actually make a few already, computa, So we're now, we have opened all the channels. Let's test. Computer one connected. Edit, uh, or no, uh, Lua. And then we go to... Uh, uh, Peripheral.rep. Uh, right. Actually, no, let, let's build a script for this already. Exit. Edit startup. Local peripheral.rep. Right. Local uh, modem equals peripheral.rep. Right. Okay, and now we go to, wait, can we actually make advanced computers? No, we still need the same amount of gold, so. We have a gold factory, why shouldn't I? We cannot run it infinitely. That's oh, okay. Sorry for no. For now, let's just. No, this is al already annoying me. Let's upgrade this instantly. I don't want to spend my time doing shit jobs. Oh, it, it already gets a ID assigned, so that's good. Oh, so it still remains computer two. Okay, it still remains what's on it. That's good. Let's give it a... Uh, didn't I make more of those? I made more modems, right? Than the one. Did, you only make, did I only make one? No, I remember crafting more. Oh, where the 
fuck did I put it? Oh, what the fuck? I'll find them later. I will definitely find them later. For now I got motos. Good. <coughs> really smart dive. Let's go. Computer one. Connected to the network. Okay, so edit startup. Local peripheral dot. Uh, no, wait. Local uh, modem equals peripheral dot rep to the right. Um, modem open one. Modem dot send message. Oh, what is it? Um, I like. Oh, what site was I on again? What before I was on a site where everything was like listed nicely. Oh, CC tweaked. There it is. Yes. Okay, so we can do a... Where is it? Modem... Transmit. Modem will transmit. One, comma, one. Uh, true. We sent true with it. Start up, we send it. I got on. <laughs> One dot uh, right. One dot right. Wow, really smart, Dave. One dot right. Um, start up. Start up. Well, now it's listening. Start up. Oh. <gasps> It's actually on the fourth row. So if I now do a... Uh, if I send a channel 3, it will be one space in between and then it will be at space 3. Start up. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. It fucking works first time, dude. <laughs> Oof. Right, so I want this to be uh, one lower. Edit startup. We are gonna do for the channel plus four. It's gonna be. Oh. Channel plus four startup. So if we do startup, startup. We're gonna send data to the main computer. It's gonna write on the right line. Wait, we want something to happen. Uh, one second. Edit start up. We want, um, before we run any loops, mon dot clear. Let's start with a fresh monitor. And then we run startup. Alright, it writes it in the nice direction. 
Edit startup. We are gonna do. We're gonna say it's false. It's be. It will be false. Startup. It will say off. Edit startup. And what will happen if we say true? It will say startup. It will fully delete it. Okay, that's good. Look, Joey, I, I made efficient. I made something efficient. I said, like, we not only take the message, we also take the uh, on which uh, it is received. So if it's a one to five on which it received. And we're going to add some spaces to it so it moves downwards. And then write it. Very great. And then we'll have some click events in the end. And, and I'll just have to write everything on it. So, like this part. And this one is useless. Let's not run that. Um, this part. The factory shit. Needs to be in front of the while loop. Uh, initiate. In, initiate. There we go. Um, one dot set uh, text scale. One dot one comma one dot two. One dot uh, set cursor position. Actually, well, let's write a function for that, because I'm not going to write that every time. Oh, shit. Mom, uh, local function... Do we want a local function? No, we want just a normal function. That's fine. I'm not running anything on this uh, PC anyway, so... And we can always share it if it's needed. Uh, function uh, cursor. The fuck are you doing? Why are you boxing me in? Yeah, I know these exist. Thanks. Uh, function cursor. Uh, X... Comma Y. Uh, return. Um, mon dot set cursor position X comma Y. And so it should I should be able to now just say cursor. Cursor two comma two one dot right factory um, control panel startup. No, I should not be able to do that. And why not? Oh, uh, that's why. <laughs> I am able to do it, but I just cleared the monitor after that. <laughs> that's not really smart. Ugh, bleh, 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 bleh. Stupid ugly colors. Add it, start up. Uh, I will also add a uh, function color. Color. Oh, that's not that's not supposed to be in a bracket. Color, color. Um, return mon dot set text color, color. And uh, bl color one. 
Oh shit, it's with a uh, capital. Start up. There we go, that's better. And then we want to center it a little bit more. So, edit, start up. Um, color cursor equals startup. Factory control panel. And if we give this a input, it's going to get listed on here. I will... 23, okay. Oh, sorry. It's going to automatically run the code because it's called startup, which is good. Um, in here, 23 and 23. Startup. Okay, that's good. Startup. Oh, I just wanted to show your factory, but yeah, okay, that's listed in a nice direction. And then the most upper one, which is modem open one. Channel one is going to send straight into. There. So that's the highest one. Yep. Okay, so we can have a list of uh, things below. And if it's a toggleable thing, we can do a uh, little box around it, uh, around the on or off. I think that's a good idea. Okay. So our factory control panel is getting together. That's good. And it's start up. I'll wait for. While uh, true. While true, do um, no wait, we wrote something for that shit. Let me check Discord real quick. Uh, no, I'm not gonna open that. Oh, yeah, but Joey, uh, I see what you sent to me by the way, but it already works in uh. Visual Studios, or or like if you have that add-on, then you can run it or something. I don't know if Joey's even still here. Oh, I'm still on the small screen, by the way. Sorry. Um, let me check something in single player. Improves the autofill. Ah, uh -huh, I see. Aha. Okay, then I might use that. Did we use quite a bit of code for this one or not? Had it start up? Yeah, we did. But I still just want to send one bit of information to the main computer and not both actually um what am i saying if i use multiple computers each for one signal then it's fine only if i use multiple signals per computer it's going to be hard because i will i can only have i i only have the event redstone update so if i would want it to be if I would want it to be the same, uh, or like only send one signal, I would first have to update the variable. So I would have to set variables. Local Boolean. Yeah, so I would have to set a Boolean values, which it would toggle between, and then send that message. So, if it's already true, then don't do anything. Basically say that every time. But that's too much of a hassle. I will just... Yeah, I will just use one computer per uh, thing. Yep, 
Wait, I already forgot one. <laughs> let me, let me, let me check, let me check, let me check, let me check. Because I need to send a message around. And it's startup. So that whole RSI thing. Yeah, I will use that. All true OS pull event redstone. Modem transmit. One comma one comma RSI. I wonder. Start up. Does it update fault? Or no, a, uh, a toggle? Toggle? No, a uh, switch. If I have this fault and I have a switch. Alright, so. Oh. I think it doesn't recognize that as a redstone block. Oh, wait. <laughs> really smart, really smart. Modem, run the pro, you write program, you bitch. Gravel gen all four on. Gravel gel on. Gravel gen off. Yes, okay, so it does work. Now I will have to write some basic computers, I think, I will use. Let's just use some basic computers for this one. And not the smart PC. So the modem breaks, I think. Yeah, oh shit. Look at that. So I made more modems, but they just... No, I got it back. I have no clue. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. I want to measure these two. <laughs> Please. Um, mm. Ah, it's gonna be hard. Yeah, but this is right at the cobble gen. Uh, I can try to... Uh, let me just build two computers here. Bolt to computer. Computer. Oh, I have two already. Okay, that's good. Um, let's see how the cobble gen runs. If I place these two... Uh, right. There. With... Connectors and cables. Let's see what it does. If it's gonna spit it out everywhere. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Nerd cage, yes, thanks. Um. Oh yeah, I wanted to switch on the cobble gen. Do I have one of these? Yes. Let's see if it's gonna spit many items up here. Because if it is, I'm not pulling through with this idea. It doesn't look like it is. I think this would work. Tries to froze them up there. So did you see? Oh, but it oh moves them in there and then still gets sucked up. Okay, that's good. Okay, I'm lucky because it's at the edge. So. 
Okay. Hey, let's get you off again. Get off. Okay, so we can... Actually, I will do this in Visual Code Studio. Or Visual Studio Code. And I will show that on screen, so I will go to... Uh, Fenster. Visual Code Studio. It automatically sees it. Let me make the screen a little bit smaller. Okay, so... This whole bull crap, we're not gonna need anymore. Because we're gonna do it differently. Uh, actually, the modem is... Local modem, modem front. Modem dot open. Uh, I. Oh wait, so I could uh, get the add-on, right? Let me let me do that then. If I if I ever build something that's more advanced than this, then uh, it's probably going to be useful. Install. Let me save this. Um, modem sending. Modem sender. Wait, did it install already? Install. No, sorry, Joey, it doesn't uh, really get it. It doesn't really understand it. And why is my Visual Code Studio off? What the fuck? Oh, because it couldn't find it anymore. No, wait, what? Uh oh. There it is. Alright, 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 alright. Local function RSI site. Return. Get input. Site. End. While to do, um, OS dot uh, pull event redstone. And then, wait, actually we can just modem.transmit, modem.transmit, over channel 1, come to channel 1. Let's put a little sleep in there just to be sure. Actually, let's not do that. Let's just see if this works. <sighs> Paste bin. Pastebin.com, paste, 
create new paste. And then we just go in MC, we go to, let's see. No, no, we fucked it up. Pool event, RSI needs to be top. Well, I will just change that in there. I will just change that in this, so, uh, top. Before we wrap front. Um, paste bin get. Paste bin. Paste bin get. And PPR. I will get strikes for this music, please give me back some other song, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> uh, startup. Edit startup. Top. And the first function will be what does this detect again? Oh, it's a send. No, let's not have the send at the top. Edit startup. Modem open channel two. Send on channel two comma two. Startup. Paste bin get. Sorry guys, I'm quickly doing this and then I'll be uh, back on full screen. I think it's still in the middle of the screen. K0N. The gravel will be on this one. No, actually, I want it to be three or two. Two. I want the modem to be two for this one. Uh, top. And on the other one I want to cancel the code. Edit startup. This one can be three. Okay, I'm going to quickly run back. Yes, I know, I know, I know. I'm putting that off right now. There we go. And we're going back to full screen. Because it should work. Let's toggle um, the generation of gold. So the sender slowly gets emptied. Let's see how fast that goes. For the sake for now, I'll just... Uh... Oh, sorry, I didn't just save it. Yes, I did. Uh, let me, let me get out. Thanks. So that will be like row 5, I think. As soon as it appears on that screen, I'm going to call it... Like, it should appear on that screen and it should make more there. Let's see if that happens. Is that one... Is that screen... Wait, let me... Quickly turn that off. Okay, it's it's on. That's good. Turn it back on. Wait. Oh, let's... What the fuck? These channels are... Oh, sorry, I, I just I put on both. That's not smart. Mm. 
Let's lock it for now. We're almost there, I think. Uh, sleep. Okay, 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 okay. Turn on sand a little bit more to drain it out of the system. Are we not gonna... Touch that? What the fuck? When is it coming? Like, holy shit. Oh, we're almost there. Okay, we're almost there. Just a little bit more gold. So it will be cobblestone generator. All right, it should have triggered. It's doing nothing. Fuck my life. Did it crash? Did it crash? Did it crash? <coughs> <laughs> well, first connect these two. And actually maybe run a cable. That's really smart to run a cable too. So they can actually talk to each other, you know? Um, let's make some more cable. That was not a very smart, no, I must admit. Of course, I don't have enough right now. I think just one more set. One. And then I think we can finish that off the cable. Wait, the sender wasn't on anymore, right? Oh, it was still... Uh... Okay. There we go. Now you guys should be able to communicate with each other. Let's move the threshold down again to 10%. Slowly climbing. But it's depleting the... Um Actually, what we can do in order to speed that up is both drain it from there and drain it from there. Make some iron too. So it's going to be, as soon as that drone activates, the screen should now update. Modems are on. This is making a thing. Watch that panel. I know uh, how we can make it. Let's drain it faster. There we go. Apparently I have set quite some storage for that. Uh, <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, it's on? Oh, no, it's off. You stupid fuck. Okay, so that one triggered. Let's just wait for this one. That's gonna be one above that. But we have enough scent again, so the scent generator is off. Oh! Clunk. Nice, it works. <laughs> Epic. It's just inverted. <laughs> Edit uh, startup. 
Blip. 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 Uh, right off. Mom dot right on. Start up. Should we store it in a no, that's that's too much. Like, we'll just basically at first sight write down not available until it runs or has done its thing, its thing. Oh, I still need to actually eat dinner, so... Okay, so that should turn uh, off soon, sooner or later. I think we drained it quite a bit, actually. I will, I will check that. Yeah, we drained it quite a bit. We made some iron, though. Our factory is coming together with computer screens. Like, next thing to make? Clickable things for toggling the iron farm and the gold farm. Oh. That would be epic. I think we can just uh, toggle those through the... Uh... No, actually we'll do some receiver computers. Oh, I'm stuck. Um, actually, can we not just put a... Instead of use uh, redstone channels... Oh no, uh, it's these two. Yeah, sorry. We're not going to do that. I'm not going to put a computer screen here, you know. Oh, oh, with a cable. That's a little bit much. Actually, let's start uh, decoring this place a little bit more. Actually, you know what we should do? I know what we should do. We should change this code a little bit. And it start up. Because we shouldn't just send it while the true loop is. We're just gonna do it uh, once before that. So we're gonna do sleep for one second then we're gonna modem the transmit two comma two comma rsi top what this is gonna do as soon as it starts up oh and it start up shit sorry it's gonna send the signal as soon as it starts up it will uh, send to the main computer what the current state is All right, so let's see. There should be an... Oh yeah, the color is still red. Fuck. I didn't change the colors. That's actually a good plan. I totally forgot I could do that. Actually, I think... Didn't we have a... F Monitor dot set text color. We'll just change these for now. It's not really efficient. I should have eight one nine 
8192. Start up. These. So the other computers will sleep for a second. Just so if it loads in at the same time or if the chunks load in in uh, different uh, ways, we can always. I don't know if it has to do with chunk loading. Uh, maybe they'll maybe they say loaded. So sleep one, every side top. Start up. Let's edit start up. Um, let's do a sleep one. RSI. Or sorry, modem will transmit three comma three comma RSI top. Start up. There we go. It should be listed now. Yep. So as soon as they start up, they will check once if it's uh, what the current state is. And as soon as it gets a redstone update, it will send off a signal to change that state. Are you almost done? No, you're not. I think these grinding wheels are a little slow, to be honest. I want them to be faster. I think this is already like the max input. I don't want to get like items stuck everywhere. Maybe it can be a little bit faster, to be honest. Oh well, it's fine. Okay. So we have a screen in our factory. And our, of course our other machinery will be like right next to the screen. Like uh, in this wall, sort of. Yeah, that's easily doable. Our factory is coming together nicely, so... So we just have to get one more computer for the... Um, cobble thing? This one? I can get it from... The, I can get the signal from here too. Oh, server restart is soon. Shit. Actually, let's let's finish that uh, ten minutes. We get some more glass. Let's mess around with our uh, <laughs> uh, signal box. So, what I want in the end for this thing is basically. Um, Maybe in the end we should actually list, um, or no, we should have a file. So you can write files to the server. Um, with in it actually a table, but then I have to learn how to write uh, tables with all the data in, in it. Oh, it turned off and it turned off. Fucking epic, fucking epic. Nice. Actually, I want to. I want on the screen. I want the readout of that thing too, of the uh, torque and uh, how much we have left, how much we're using. Whew. I've been alive for three hours again. Time is going so fast. I was like, I'm gonna go live for an hour because then I have to eat dinner and I still have to cook, etc. Yeah, that wasn't really happening. I don't know if you noticed, but it wasn't really happening. But as always, I hope you enjoyed. 
with this music. Oh, nice, nice end. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you understood what I all said today, like about this whole machine and how I build it. Um, oh, wait, 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 wait. I promised to show Kenny Ox's machine. I promised that to him. Let me run over to his base. I'm not gonna uh, just uh, skip over you, buddy. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm not skipping you. Oh, you, ooh, you have a really fast cobble gen. What the fuck? How is that done? Is that done with drills? Oh no, you have this. Why does it work for you and didn't and it didn't work for me? That's that's just unfair. Um, <laughs> wait a second. Look at it. I just I made the exact same setup. Why does it work for you? Why? What? Uh, that's just unfair. This server is a fucking dickhead to me, dude. Okay, this is your iron generator. Oh, that's almost full, dude. Um, and you have a sand gen, or clay gen, right? Ooh. I like the sign, and I like the steam engine, that you also have one. What, what is this linkage at the back? Oh, that's for... What is this? Oh, that's just machines you temporarily use. Oh yeah, there is the water. Uh... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What is this for? What is this madness? Is this a... Um, Andesite generator? What does this generate? Bricks. Oh, oh, it's a bricks machine. But wait, you don't you get like other byproducts from this too? Like quartz, etc.? Or like, what do you do? What do you, are you throwing the quartz away or is it getting stuck? You have so many grinders, dude. Of course your iron farm is fast as fuck. Look at your grinders. It's a nice setup though, man. It's a nice setup, really. It is. Looking good, dude. Looking good. Isn't it just using one grinder only, by the way? Like, how do items even get into the grinders? How do items get in there? Oh, it's, is this a shoot? Why is there gold on this shoot? Is it an advanced shoot or something? Yeah, it is. What is so smart about the smart shoot? Oh, you can add filters to it. Oh, that's, that's all you can do. You can just filter them. And you can uh, extract a certain amount. Okay, I get it now. And I bet you there's another one in here, right? Yeah, there's another one. Is it set to an amount? Oh, it's just set to 64. Oh, you put... Uh, oh, I see what you did. You put the 64 to... Uh, not to... Any, but to exactly 64. No, wait. Then you don't get an optimal split, right? Because it's, as soon as one stack is 64, it just... Push it out. Oh, wait, because the shoot is inside of the... Um, yeah, I know what's happening. The shoot is inside of the grinder, so it only releases items when the grinders are empty. And can accept more. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So if one grinder is still stuck on something, then it wouldn't budge. Oh, you know what I could do? 
I could have a second set of belts and second grinders <laughs> on top of these. Actually, that, that, that isn't such a bad idea now that I think of it. I would have to move some redstone. I might do that off screen. As to up my production a little bit. Yeah, I would just have to move that one there. Um, these ones over here. One belt. And the detectors are going to be at the back or something. Eh, works. Or like at the bottom. Detectors can be at the bottom. Like over here. Yeah. Yeah, I might actually do that. So I have double grinder sets too. Double speed, double grinder, double speed. Sounds good. Yeah. Anyway, pretty nice, this system. As always, now that I've shown his base and I said my idea what I might do off screen, um, I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you next time. Thank you. And bye-bye.